Love smarter, not harder, today's question. Yesterday I was told by a friend that I will probably be single the rest of my life because my expectations are too high. Craziness, because she basically said you have to be out there sexting in order to obtain a partner. Casual relationships don't feel fulfilling to me. They aren't fun and they usually lead nowhere. So with that being said, I'm expected to be single for the rest of my life. So I don't know many single women who are single longer than people think they should be, who haven't been told at one point or another that they're too picky or their expect expectations are too high or they're being unrealistic. And you know that's basically why I wrote my book because it's really, it gets infuriating to have to hear that kind of stuff all the time. And really it's out of step with what anyone should be telling someone. We should be applauded for remaining strong enough to not settle for a mediocre relationship. We should be applauded for not having a, a phony connection with someone because, well, you know, I'm, it's time to get married. So like grab that guy, throw a tux on him, he'll do. We should be applauded for not doing that kind of stuff. And, and sadly, we get looked at sideways, like, what's your problem? You're still single. You're probably too picky and your expectations are too high. And frankly, the research actually supports that people who maintain high expectations when they're single take these expectations into their marriages and they have high quality marriages with high expectations from one another. They expect to have a great partnership and to thrive with their partner and to be in love for forever instead of having like, oh, well, the honeymoon's over, so let's just take each other for granted now. So all I can say is all everything I'm, I do, all my podcasts, my book, my posts, it's all about trying to support women who hear the stuff that you heard. And I'm really sorry that you went through that. But sex, sexting, relationships, situationships, none of that is what we're about. We know we're worth more. And we know that if we believe that we're worth more, we're going to attract men who want something more as well. And they are out there. I hope that's helpful.